What is up, guys? Welcome back to the freaking channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are expanding on the Spring Chinook setup series, and we are gonna talk about bait threaded herring, an extremely effective way to get out on the water and catch massive chrome spring frickin' Chinook. We're gonna teach you how to tie up the setup today. We're also gonna teach you how to bait thread it and what it's supposed to look like in the water when you're fishing this bait threaded herring setup. Stay tuned, we're gonna get into tying it up right now. All right guys, so it's spring frickin' Chinook season. There's so many different kinds of methods that you can use to catch spring Chinook. I learned this particular method from my uncle when I was a little kid. We were fishing down in the Maynumqua River down in Oregon. We were fishing the Rogue. We were fishing out of Gold Beach, Charleston, Newport. We were fishing all over Oregon. And the number one way we were getting linked up on spring Chinook was bait threaded herring. It was a staple down in Oregon. I know it is in Washington as well. Idaho, it's a little bit new because everybody runs the helmets. And so this is a very universal type fishing setup that we're gonna go over today. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we need to get that going, okay? I got 25 pound leader right here. I've got a side wash hook right here and a treble hook like so. We've got a swivel, our bait threader, Procure bait threader right here. You can get it from Oregon Tackle. You can get them from many different bait shops come in all different shapes and sizes and brands. But I like this one particularly because it has a little loop. You can thread it through and it's no big deal. My line stays right in place. Then I have some of this quick fish elastic yarn right here that I'm gonna use to wrap the hooks in place. As well, you can use a rubber band. I used to buy kits like this and they had rubber bands in them. And we'll go over that a little bit later. But these are the ingredients that we're gonna need to set this up. So let's get into it. Let's tie it up. Let's get close up. We're gonna tie up the sliding mooching rig for bait threaded herring. It is a staple in spring Chinook catching. All right, guys, I got Maxim Ultra Green 25 pound. I'm gonna use that as my leader today. And we're gonna take the very bottom end of the line, just like so. Doesn't matter how big of a loop you make, make a big old loop. And you're just gonna wrap it around your finger and you're gonna put the loop that you made back through the loop that you just tied with through the line just like so, okay? Nice and simple, create the loop, wrap it through the loop, pull it tight, okay? This is gonna be the tail end of our setup here. We're gonna clip the tag. Okay, tag clip. And then you're gonna to go to the very top of the line. Go to the very top of the line and you're gonna grab your hook just like so, okay? Put the top of the line through the hook like that, leave a very short tag in, and then pinch it against the shank of the hook. Then we're gonna grab the little piece that we put off to the side earlier, and we are gonna go through the eye, just like the main line, and we're gonna leave a nice short little tag. Then we're gonna create a loop like this, as you can see, and we are gonna go back down through the eye, okay? Now, we have two tags. I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer so I know which one it is. So this is our tag for our loop right here. And then we are gonna wrap this around six times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pretty wraps just like that. Then we're gonna pull that off to the other, off to the side, and we're just gonna start tightening this up. Okay, tight, 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 pinch it till it comes all the way in. So you're holding that line as you're sucking it tight. Let's get this in focus here. Six beautiful wraps. And then we're gonna suck this tight just like that. We're gonna grab our pliers, we're gonna clip the tag at the top, and then we're just gonna pull. Let me grab that. And now we have a sliding mooching rig setup that's sliding through our main line just like so. Okay. We're gonna pull it down until we get about herring's distance away from our loop, as you can see. So we have a loop on the bottom and we have a sliding hook set up at the top. Okay. Let's clip this back tag off. So we're professional out here. Clip the tag, and after you've completed those two steps, this is what it should look like, and now we can move on to bait threading 
this herring. All right, guys, we're freaking gloved up. We got gloves on. Comment down below if you know how good a fish's nose actually is. So fish's noses are actually super, super, super freaking amazing. But comment down below if you actually know, or if you actually knew about the fact that fish can smell just amazingly well, okay? I always try to wear gloves when I'm handling any kind of bait. I do not mind touchy fish, I love fish, but I do not like to handle any of my baits with my bare hands. I just feel like it's another variable added to the fact that maybe I won't get linked up in a fish that day. So comment down below. How good is a fish's nose? I wanna know, I wanna know your opinions on it. I wanna know how knowledgeable you guys are when it comes down to the fish's nose. <laughs> so let's get into freaking bait threading this herring, okay? So I picked up some of this Lure Jensen um, quick fish. This is elastic yarn that we're gonna wrap with today. Like I said earlier, you can use a rubber band, that works great as well. But let's get the herring out and let's get this thing bait threaded. Okay, so for video purposes, I did not brine, for video purposes, I did not brine in um, Procure or Fire Brine. I just left the herring in a little bit of salt just to toughen it up just a tiny bit for the video. Um, I wanted you guys to be able to see the fish and how it looked while it was bait threaded. And let's, so let's just get into it right now, okay? So let's set our herring down. We're gonna grab our line. We're gonna grab our bait threader just like so, okay? You're gonna pinch the line together. I got my glove on tight. There we go. You're gonna pinch the line together just like so at the top. And there's a little circle at the top of this bait threader. You're gonna pinch the line and you're gonna shove it through that circle, just like that. Then you're gonna grab your herring just like so. You're gonna open its mouth. You're gonna pinch it directly in the middle and you're gonna thread the bait down through its stomach, okay? This is the most important part, right here. As you're bait threading it down, you're gonna feel the, the needle wanna come out the tail end, okay? You're gonna slide it through the middle of this bait, just like so, right out the middle of the back of that bait, right behind the dorsal fin on the back of this fish, and we're gonna slide it out just like so. Now, another very important part of this is you do not want to just rip it through. There's a knot, there's also a tag right there that you can see. And so we are gonna slowly work this down through the fish just like so. You can feel it hitting the belly right here, okay? Now, the most important part of all of this is you do not rip the needle through the back of this fish. You're gonna pinch the needle, you're gonna pinch the exit wound right here, and you're gonna slowly pull, nice and light, pull, 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 till that tag comes out just like that. Pull your loop out. Now we have a very clean exit, and we're gonna pull the loop out of the bait threader just like that. Now we have a completely bait threaded herring so far. Let's get the treble hook hooked up and let's put this hook through the head and we'll go over the rest of this setup. Okay, so then you're just gonna grab your treble hook, grab your treble hook, pinch the line together again, okay? Put it through the eye of the treble hook and then again, you're gonna put the loop of the line all the way around the treble and then you're just gonna pull it tight. Now, you're gonna feed this back into the hole that it just came out of, okay? So you're gonna pinch again. I'm feeding it back through the hole, I'm pushing, okay? Making sure that tag, if there is a tag, goes right back in to the exit. I'm gonna pull, get the treble sideways, pull, pull, pull. And then we're gonna feed the end of that treble right into the hole, just like so. We're gonna grab the hook, bend the tail, and we are gonna stab the hook through the fish and out the other side, just like that. We're gonna pull the line tight. And now we have our treble hook inserted in the very back of this bait fish. So when that shoe nut comes up, it's gonna wrap around. Even if there's a short strike, it comes up, it strikes the tail. This is set far enough back that if it short strikes, you're more than likely gonna get it on that treble, okay? Now, if it short strikes the very back of the tail, obviously that's just super unlucky, but this is far enough set back that we don't really have to worry about it. That shoe gonna come up and bite that right there, okay? Now, 
The reason we need a sliding setup is this front hook is what's gonna provide the arc in this herring to give it a spin, okay? So we're gonna grab the top hook, we're gonna go through the bottom of the jaw, okay? And you're gonna find that hard spot right in the middle of the eyes, right on top of the head of this herring. And you're gonna go right out the middle, just like so. As you can see, it's right between the eyes, right through the toughest part of this fish's head, and then we're just gonna suck it down tight. As you suck this down, you're gonna see why you need the sliding part of this setup to give that herring that nice curvature so it spins perfectly in the water. Again, you don't want a super tornado spin. It's not a cut plug. You want a nice, slow, steady spin that those Chinook are gonna come up and freaking chomp this thing, okay? Now, loosen it back up just a tiny bit, okay? Then, for the last part of this, which you do not have to do this, but I would definitely recommend it. This is elastic right here. I like to wrap, I like to wrap the mouth shut. And there you have it guys. You have a bait threaded herring for spring Chinook. Um, also about the elastic that we used up front, a rubber band works great. Um, I didn't have any rubber bands today, so I went ahead and I used the elastic, but you slide two little rubber bands on your main line just like so. You put the first one down over the trail hook right here, put the front one in front right over the hook like this. The elastic works great too. I feel like it does um, show a little more in the water, so if you wanna reduce variables even more, you could just have a black rubber band, one for the back and one for the front, okay? But this overall is how you set up and fish a bait threaded herring for spring Chinook. I love to troll them behind these triangle flashers just like this one right here and just like this one right here. If I'm on the Columbia or if I'm even down on the Main Umqua and I'm just anchored up in the current, I just like to run it just like this, brined up, spinning in the water. So when the Chinook are traveling up river, they see that and they go ahead and take a bite at it, they swat at it, whatever they feel like doing. Um, as long as we're getting linked up. That's all I care about, baby, tight lines. So I really appreciate you guys tuning into this episode of Walking on Water, how to set up and fish a bait threaded herring. We are gonna go over a lot more spring Chinook um, type setups as the um, weeks progress here. I know it's already late March. Um, I just got into a new little watercraft. I'm super freaking excited to reveal it to you guys. Next freaking week is gonna be sick. We're getting it all set up and we're gonna get out on the water and we're gonna do less how-tos. We're gonna do a lot more how-tos and fishing. So stay freaking tuned for that, guys. Like, subscribe, and share the videos and more giveaways to come. I hope you guys go out and bonk a ton of fish. I will see you in the next one.